So when I went to study in China in Sichuan in um, 1985, the first item I bought was a bicycle, and it was great for seeing the real China. And whenever I cycled around, I'd run into these banners talking about the four modernizations. At the time, I was very doubtful when they, whether they would ever be achieved. I really saw them as mere propaganda. But now, whenever I come back to China, I'm reminded how wrong I was and how fast this country has developed. And the four modernizations played a very important role in articulating a vision of the future. PC industry, in which I work, has also got its fair share of visionaries and propagandists. And here's two of the best ones that have ever been working in it. As early as that, 1975, Bill Gates talked about a computer on every desk and in every home. Steve Jobs, he talked about the computer being the greatest invention ever by mankind. But when I moved to Taiwan after graduating, I started working in the PC industry. And I found out while well, America was the vision, the dream factory of the IT industry, it was Taiwan and China that did all the work. We're the ones who designed the products, we're the ones who built them, we're the ones who shipped them all over the world. And without China and without Taiwan, I don't think the industry would have developed half as fast as it has. Now, out of that, out of those beginnings with manufacturing, is we move to the second stage of development. Learning how to build PCs has also enabled China and Taiwan to build up semiconductor manufacturing, semiconductor design, and even global brand names like Lenovo and like um, HTC. However, it's very interesting, and actually quite shocking, really, when you look at the numbers. There's a global population of 7 billion, and only 2 billion actually now have access to the internet. That means 5 billion people throughout the world still are not part of the global conversation. Two out of seven makes for a pretty lame party, and it really is time to bring, send more invites out to people. Now, via my company, we work towards a vision of total connectivity. And one success we've had is working with MIT on their One Laptop Per Child initiative, where we push millions of computers to students throughout the world. But really, that was only just a start. Now, everybody wants to be part of the global conversation. They want to be able to share content and share their thoughts, their photos, etc., on the internet. A lot of people would have you believe that we're moving to a post-PC era in which the PC is not so important for this anymore and that we're all going to be doing it on, our, on our mobile phones and our tablets. A Viv, we have a slightly different view, is that the desktop PC is a great tool. And great tools improve with time and they don't go away. It's a question of how to change it and how to improve it to move it in line with new requirements. Now, Deng Xiaoping, he, he once said, no matter if it's a white cat or a black cat, as long as it can catch mice, it's a good cat. And the way we view a PC is, as long as it connects you to the internet, it's also a good PC. It doesn't matter what is inside it, it doesn't matter the, the, the speed of the processor, etc. If it gives you that internet connectivity, that is the most important aspect. So what we've done is redefine the PC. And today, this is the first time we've actually introduced it in public, um, we're announcing the APC. Now, what this is, is a $49 PC, which I think uh, is an incredible price point. We've done a number of innovative things to make that happen. The first thing is we've junked Windows. We're not using Linux. What we're using is a variant of Linux, Android. I think many of you already know what Android is. It's the world's most popular smartphone operating system. So what we're doing is giving a very familiar interface. People do not have to learn because the, the um, interface is already out there. We've also done is use a very low power processor. We've also built in very, very good multimedia performance. So I'd just like to make the first public demonstration. And one of the iron laws of technology demos is that they never work. So actually, I'm quite relieved to see it booting up. So what we call this, we call it APC. And it's a bicycle for the mind. What we're trying to do is to get by delivering a very low price point, but also a very usable box, is what we're trying to do is to get more people engaged using the device and pushing it out beyond the current numbers. As I mentioned, currently there are only two, 
2 billion out of 7 billion people in the world have access to the internet. So what I tried to do is to totally simplify the experience. When you boot up, you go into the search, and then you're straight into the cloud. It's as simple as that. It takes you straight through to the browser. And what we're trying to build here is a browser-based computing experience, which um, we believe is the next generation. Now, of course, in addition to that, we do have other parts of it, and some of them that, uh, oh dear, yes. OK. We also loaded a very small number of apps. And I think you know as Android, one of the great advantages of Android is that there's thousands, there's millions of apps out there that you as a, as a user can install. So we have a browser, we have a calendar, contacts, downloads, etc. And some people can also download Angry Birds as a productivity application. So that's a very simple. You can also, also add, um, let's say as a user, you can add whatever you like. But we're trying to keep this, the, this, the experience as simple and as clear as possible. And just to give you an ex just to show you the example that just because it's low cost, it doesn't mean it doesn't mean um, that there's any uh, compromise on performance. So I'd just like to close the presentation by running a video, um, just to show you at very high definition, this is exactly what the product can do. So even through even through a large screen experience and a very high resolution, this is the capability of the product. So I think I've already overrun some time, I'm on time already, on my second, second presentation of the day. And I'd like to close on that. And so thank you, and here's the APC, a bicycle for your mind. Thank you very much.